him out to be. Andre the Giant, Bobby the Brain Heenan. I approached the flight attendant and took her into the galley. This is something you might uh, get you by in life, I said to her. Importing some words of wisdom, and you know how that we like words of wisdom here on Chaos Corner. In order to get respect, you have to start with respecting yourself. Once you do that, you open other people's minds to respecting you. Speaking of wisdom from the Guardian of Chaos. A guy gets on the plane at 7 in the morning. He's got a plaid suit on. He's 7 foot 4 and 550 pounds. Uh, he's got hair like the MGM lion uh, and he's drunk. Uh, don't bring him any tools. We went to the Marriott in Kansas City. At midnight, they had last call. The bartender came up to me and asked, Is John Dre here with you at this time? Andre the Giant? No, I said. Oh, thank God, the bartender said. Last time he was here, I gave last call, and he didn't want to leave. I told him that I could only stay as long as he was drinking. Andre ordered 40 vodka tonics, sat and drank them until 4 in the morning. I met Rob Ryder, who was an asshole, at the Comedy Awards in Los Angeles after Andre passed away. He was the producer of The Princess Bride, a movie that Andre appeared in, a pure classic really was. I actually did a remake of the scene, uh, one of the scenes from The Princess Bride when I was on uh, that show, uh, The Green Room. A million people, allegedly, right? Yeah. I said he certainly was. Do you know what his bill was at the Hyatt in London the month we shot the movie with him? No. $40,000. And there wasn't one movie on the bill he never left the bar. He never left the bar. And I'm not talking about being an attorney. Women loved Andre. One night he got romantic with a petite young lady in his hotel room. The problem was he didn't bother to close the curtain.